In Paris, Arkansas, Vicki Furstenberg and Mary Beth Naus started the nonprofit Forget Me Not. With the help of other women and student volunteers, the group rescues pets in their community. And then people started calling us needing help with puppies and dogs, and so we started helping and it just grew and grew and grew. With the Paris Animal Shelter only housing dogs and cats from within city limits, they say many in the surrounding areas and countryside rely on the group. One of our fosters um, lives kind of out in the country and she had seen them, I guess, on, on a neighbor's property living underneath an abandoned shed and it was gonna be nine degrees. And so she and her daughter climbed underneath that shed and drug them out. Four pups with no names, just male one, two, three, and four, until a transport with East Coast Paws and Claws would take them up north. We sent 46, 47 dogs on a transport last Monday, and you know that was when all the ice hit. Mm -hmm. So we're here, we've got fosters rolling in, we're trying to get these dogs loaded, trying to get her on her way to New Jersey. And as this little girl is handing one puppy over, our, res our rescue lady, uh, East Coast Paws and Claws, says, hey, that's one of the ones going to the puppy bowl. But it's not the fact that these pups are among 122 that will showcase their skills. They just want to know they're loved. This will be the 19th puppy bowl and they have a 100% adoption rate. So they are for sure going to get a home. We, we want to run out of business is what we want to do. We want to yeah, not yes. be needed as yes, much as we, we are. As they watch the puppy bowl knowing their pups have a home, the next generation is already watching their playmakers and following in their footsteps. I feel like um, animals should have families and they should be good pets for everybody. I was telling them whenever they get like too old to be able to do this, we should just come in after them. In Paris, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.